He was born in 1919 in Vredidor, a suburb of Johannesburg, South African. His father was from Ethiopia, and his mother was colored with French and African roots. He was five years old when his father died, and with his family thereafter struggling financially his mother sent him to live with relatives until the age of 11, when he became a boarding student at the Anglican Church's Grace Do School in Petersburg. On graduation from there, he went to St. Peter's Secondary School in Rosettenville, paying his tuition fees by working at the Bantu Men's Social Center. Whenever he had time, he went to the library at the social center and looked through the books on the bookshelf. There he encountered an interesting book, The Souls of Black Folk, written by black movement leader Du Bois. When he opened the book, he encountered the powerful words. For this much all men know, despite compromise, war, struggle, the Negro is not free. He was deeply shocked by the words. It was like a revelation to him. He read every one of the books on the shelf marked American Negro literature, and he became a nationalist, a colored nationalist, through the writings of men and women who lived a world away from him. This story is about Peter Abrahams who was a South African-born novelist, journalist and political commentator. He is one of South Africa's most prominent writers, his work dealing with political and social issues, especially with racism. His novel, Mind Boy, and his memoir, Tell Freedom deal in part with apartheid. Books have the power to transport us to new worlds and different times. So they can also change our whole life. This is the importance of reading and the power of books. This is a quote from Malcolm X who was an African-American Muslim, minister, and human rights activist. My alma mater was books, a good library.